Hi guys, hope everyone is well. Hope your revision is going well. My name is Micah and I'm making this video for every single person who is registered on our intensive course for the GPSC exam in June 2023. If you're on our course, then this video is for you. We are currently in past papers season with over just over eight weeks to go. We've started looking at past, past papers and we've split everyone who has shown interest into small groups. So everyone who has indicated interest has been split into small groups of about eight or nine. And some groups have started looking at the past papers already, which is fantastic. So the best way for you to go over the past papers with your group is for you to do a past paper on your own under exam condition. So do this on your own in your spare time over say two hours and write all your answers down don't look at the answers if you have the answers to you know q university past papers for example don't look at the answers write all your answers down under exam condition and write how long you spent doing each paper so let's say you're entitled to two hours for calculations in the exam and you spent two hours and 15 minutes doing a paper write down two hours and 15 minutes on top of your answer sheet and keep track of that so the next paper you do also write down how long you spend as so what will happen is as time goes on the amount of time you're spending on the papers will gradually decrease until you get to within two hours which is what's stipulated in the gpsc exam okay so this is the best way to do it and then on the day of your meeting or the time of your meeting with your group you can then look at the questions that you found difficult the questions you found challenging and you can ask questions so that people can share light on those questions to consolidate your learning does that make sense that's a more time efficient way to do it so you don't have people sitting around for hours and hours doing very little to no work all right so do it on your own under exam conditions and then meet up with your group and discuss the questions especially the questions that you found challenging all right so we'll carry on doing this until the exam and what i'm going to do as well in my spare time to make things interesting and to help you learn as well i'm going to invite groups that are active groups that are doing the past papers because i'm monitoring i'm watching what's going on any all the groups that are active and doing the past papers i'm going to invite them to join a quiz that i'm going to organize i'll send a link to say group one versus group two and I invite both groups to join a quiz and this quiz is going to be on both calculations and clinical so the groups are for both calculations and clinicals you can do calculations sometimes you can do clinicals other times just mix it up like that and just keep the learning going hopefully this motivates everyone on the groups to carry on revising um, and anyone who has failed the exam before you do need to take this seriously because i feel like it's going to maximize your chances of passing if you haven't started the exam before i want you to pass first time so please join stay active ask questions and whilst you're doing the past papers with the group, there's nothing stopping you from doing your past papers in your own spare time as well. So there's a list of all the past papers I've created for every single person registered on our intensive program. You can look through the list and pick past papers out and do them on your own. And when it's time for your growth, you do your group work and do it with them. So you're learning from both sides and you're consolidating your knowledge, your skills and you're learning why it's doing this. I hope this helps. This is the first time I'm introducing this um, on our intensive program, and I'm hoping that I'm going to use this to maximize our chances of passing. I want maximum success for every single person this particular June exam. Reach out to me if you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can send me a message, um, and I'll be very happy to help you. Until I see you, I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Keep revising, keep grinding. Our hard work is going to pay off. It always has. Over the years we've been doing this, all the people who have put in the work have always had good results. So I encourage you to keep on grinding, keep on working, keep on revising, and share your questions and queries with people in your groups. And hopefully we can smash this exam. See you soon, guys. All the best.